the manufacturing industry how they are doing electrical power distributions across the plant is the today's topic in our previous video we covered the electrical unit basics like voltage current power factor so that topics how can we remember in the easy way we tried with the basic story right so that video link i am giving in that i button and description so you can check okay let's see the today's topic first of all what is the meaning of power distribution let's take our house example our light fan electrical supply how it is connected so we know very well our electrical supply is received from the electrical pole so from the electrical pole it's connected to the meter box from meter box to dv box dv box to switches from the switches we connect all the electrical loads like fan switch okay why we have to follow the such a procedure the reason behind that the first reason is in any failure happen in house right any any load failure means it should not be disturbed in the other loads it should not be disturbed in the total whole electrical supply that is the first reason the second reason is uh, all the electrical loads like uh, fan light switches should be in the nearby location so that is the second reason in the same way what is the procedure in the manufacturing industry right so comparatively it's little bit different so why because the industries they are using different type of voltages like high voltage single phase three phase so based on that panels also getting differentiated right so how they are connecting this panels in the sequence way that we can see today right okay first time if you are seeing this image means uh, you can feel it's little bit complicated so it's not like that Uh, for understanding this power distribution uh, the one baseline is required that baseline if you are get means uh, you can get a better confront about the power distribution system okay the same image i will show in the end of the video so le le let me know your confront level about the power distribution in the comment section okay okay let's begin generally the manufacturing industry incoming supply voltage is higher side only so why because the first reason is reducing the power transmission loss the second reason is the reducing the cable cost of power transmission line okay that we know very well and uh, high voltage means what is the rating of voltage actually how can we select in the proper high voltage that question will come in our mind right so high voltage is already some standard ratings are available right so like uh, 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv uh, 110 kv like there some standard ratings are there from the standard rating we have to choose our required voltage rating okay okay our required voltage how can we calculate actually how can we select in the uh, correct high voltage so that is also the second question right so that uh, required high voltage first we have to calculate our plant total connected loads so in our plant how many electrical equipments are there how much total flow wire that we have to calculate so based on that we have to choose that our uh, standard high voltage actually which voltage we want that we can select okay okay now we we choose that uh, high voltage uh, then we have to go for the 415 voltage conversion okay why we have to go for the 415 volt conversion why because our industry 95 percentage of equipments voltage rating is 415 voltage okay so for connecting this all the supply for connecting this electrical supply to the all the equipments means we want 415 voltage okay that's what we have to go for the 415 voltage okay that 415 voltage how can we distribute across the plant that we can see in the step by step okay now instead of our regular power distribution system shall we try with one more idea so that means our converted voltage Uh, can be connected in one big panel right from the big panel uh, we can distribute all the load supply you no know? it is very easy also why we have to follow the such a procedure and the different types of panels it's not necessary also right if we are implementing that idea so what is the impact in our power distribution system so that we can simulate right okay now the system is ready for simulation the first scenario is fault so in the system any fault happening means how will we get react so for example this mcb having any short circuit fault right so this fault current definitely it will be affect in our incoming breaker okay if incoming breaker getting trip means our total system power is disconnected condition that means the plant is off condition so you can think one small breaker fault it it, it can be stop the total plant means definitely it will be not a good power distribution system right so this uh, fault scenario it is not support us also so it is not suitable for us okay the next scenario is cable size so okay here you can see different rating of equipments is connected in one panel okay so based on the rating we have to choose the cable size okay so based on the cable size we have to choose the proper bolt nuts and lugs and all right in one panel if we are using a different size of bolts and lugs means it will be create a some spark issue or heating issue 
and it will be it will be lead a very big fire incident also okay so that means the system is not good for us okay okay the next scenario is panel size okay you can uh, you can imagine so total plant loads are connected in one panel means how much big panel we want how much big space is required for the installation right so practically it is not possible okay that means the system is not suitable for us okay the next scenario is maintenance so for example i am going to service this breaker means i have to switch off the incomer breaker also so if your incomer breaker is off means the total plant supply is disconnected condition okay for this one breaker service i cannot stop the total plant so that means the maintenance oriented also the system is not suitable for us okay okay the next scenario is breaker rate here you can see different types of breaker used in one panel that means mcb mccb acb all the breakers are available in one panel right so here you cannot choose the proper tripping setting so that means Uh, acb mccb you can choose the current setting so how much current breaker will be drip you can choose but mcb it not possible mcb is fixed rating only so that means your required protection setting is not possible in the system okay the next scenario is unbalanced load that means we have a three phase right r y b three phases all the three phases we have to connect the load in equal manner that means r phase if you are connecting 10 light means y phase also you have to connect 10 lights instead of that if you are connecting y phase 50 light means breaker will be get trip in unbalanced load okay so practically here uh, you cannot uh, choose the uh, phases that means wherever the space available you have to connect a load in that that uh, place okay that time you cannot calculate r phase how much load y phase how much load it is not possible in this panel okay so that means uh, we cannot distribute the balanced uh, distribution right it is not possible in the system okay that means this system is not suitable for okay okay the next scenario is emergency feed so that means our manufacturing industries are running in all the three systems right so if uh, for example if any power failure happening in the night time means so we have to give the basic lighting supply for the workers right so if total supply is getting off means how it is possible to giving the lighting supply okay for that we have to maintain the separate feeder from our regular power distribution system so that is the emergency feeder system so that is also it is not not possible in this in this uh, distribution system okay this much of problems are waiting if you are not following the right procedure fine let's move to the solution mode up to now we have seen the problems now we have to move towards the solution fine okay our power distribution system we can segregate it as the three things one is voltage and second uh, application oriented and uh, third is load base like that we can segregate from here uh, we can derive our own power distribution system fine okay our uh, from this also voltage we can segregate it as the high voltage medium voltage low voltage like that we can segregate okay high voltage means uh, hd breakers uh, drive drives actually 11 kv motors 33 kv motors drives also we can connect in this way, high voltage feeders and medium voltage means all the three phase equipments we can connect in the medium voltage feeders and the final uh, all the single phase equipments we can connect in the low voltage feeders right okay now voltage is completed the same like we have to apply in the load base also high kilowatt medium kilowatt low kilowatt So our manifest equipments, how much uh, rated uh, kilowatt based on that we can select our feeders. Okay, fine. Now voltage is completed, load also completed. Finally, application oriented. This we can convert it as a three things. One is manufacturing equipment, second is utility equipments, finally emergency equipments. Okay. Here manufacturing equipments means uh, we have seen already what is the meaning of manufacturing equipments. And utility means boiler, HVAC. This related uh, equipments uh, considered as a utility equipments. And finally, emergency means lighting supply, fire fighting system. These are all considered as a emergency feeder, right? From this, we can design our own power distribution system. Fine. Okay. Our plant incoming supply voltage we can divide it to the two voltage. One is high voltage, another one is low voltage. Okay. High voltage is converted to the power transformer. Uh, that means. Thirty-three kV is converted to the eleven kV. Okay, from this eleven kV, we can connect high tension motors, drives, and all. We can connect in your plant. Any any other uh, high tension equipment is there means we can connect here. Fine. Okay. Uh, next distribution transformer. So from this distribution transformer, output is four fifteen voltage. Here incoming voltage is thirty-three kV. Output is four fifteen voltage. Fine. This four fifteen voltage we have to distribute across the plant because. our industry 95% of equipment is 
415 voltage for this 415 voltage distributions we have to use different types of panel in different sequence okay that's we can see one by one okay our first converter 415 voltage we have to connect main distribution panel that's called the mdb so here we can connect all high kilowatt equipments we can connect in the mdb feeder fine right? okay from the mdb panel we have to connect two panels one is power control center this is called the pcc the next is power distribution port that's called the pdb this both panel we have to connect one by one so here we can connect all uh, medium kilowatt equipments we can connect in this feeder fine okay from the pdb we have to connect rpdb that is a raw power distribution system so here we can connect all the uh, single phase equipments we can connect to the rpdb feeder that is fine okay okay now we have seen voltage related distribution and uh, kilowatt related distribution we completed and the balance is application oriented only is balance right okay the application oriented also the manufacturing industry is completed balance utility equipments and emergency equipments feeders only bending so that we can see this both feeder we can connect to the main distribution panel why because uh, this hvac equipments and emergency uh, equipment should not be mingled with regular power distribution system okay so that's what we can connect uh, to the main distribution panel fine today we have seen the impact of bad power distribution systems and uh, the fault scenario also we have seen if your fault came means what is the impact and the second the solution mode voltage based load based application load based how we can segregate and for the good power distribution system and uh, how many panels are they are using for the proper power distribution system like high voltage low voltage and high kilowatt medium kilowatt uh, through the mdb pcc bdb like that so mdb we, are, we have to connect a high uh, all high kilowatt equipments and pcc pdb uh, low kilowatt equipments and the rpdb all single phase equipments we have to connect and uh, mdb we have to connect lighting distribution system and utility equipments we have to connect that that we have seen today topic right in the next video we have to see uh, in deep about the uh, panels like mdb inside what are all the breakers how it's getting distributed and pcc pdb how, actually how it's giving the supply in the sequence manner so that we can see in the next video thank you